nice addition to size eyes on the skies. We got clearing in Iowa ahead of a warm front. I'll have more in my Iowa forecast. Dan is also on deck for your national forecast later on in the It's Monday night on ISU TV, broadcasting live from Ames, Iowa. This is Size Eyes on the Skies. ISU TV's longest running television program brings you the weather from around the country to the heart of Iowa. The ISU Meteorology Department team of forecasters keep you ahead of the storm. From Iowa's most trusted weather team, this is Size Eyes on the Skies. Welcome back to Size Eyes. How was your weekend there, Sam? It was pretty good. I uh, just did a lot of studying and reviewing for midterms coming up now. Uh, and, yeah. I'm pretty fortunate. I don't have any tests this week. And then actually, my class for tomorrow morning got canceled. Oh. So I can actually enjoy tomorrow's little slightly warmer weather. As we look at the uh, day planner right now, you can see it'll be a little bit warmer than what we used to at 8 a.m. with 18 degrees. Warming up to even 30 in the afternoon hours. And I think our high is supposed to be up to 32, so we're going to reach freezing. And then dropping down to 26 at 3 p.m. So all in all, a pretty nice day tomorrow. One that we have to uh, treasure because it's going to get a little bit colder as we move into later in the week. Yeah, this looks like a nice forecast. Here's Jen with your national forecast. A pretty cold day across most of the nation. Uh, we've got a lot of uh, precip going on down in the south. I'll have more after the break. Welcome back. Here's Jan with your national forecast. Hi guys. As I said earlier, another cold day across most of the nation. All of this encompass in the blue is in a very deep cold pool. Um, as we take a look up in the northeast part of the lower 48, we can see that it is a lot colder up there than we are here even. Only negative one in Syracuse right now, six over in Pittsburgh. Going down to the south, a lot warmer down there as they are escaping this cold pool right now. Uh, 40 in Atlanta, 71 down in Orlando, and a nice 75 down in Miami. Going back out to the west, uh, nice and warm for the most part along the coast, uh, 60s in California, um, but over in Las Vegas, 46 as they are uh, in that cold pool. Up to the north in the uh, in Washington and Oregon, they're in the 50s, staying warm. Um, and even in Boise, still pretty warm there at 41. Coming back to the central US, uh, it's again pretty cold over here. Uh, 36 in Pierre, 22 in North Platte, and 17 down in Kansas City. Taking a wider look at our highs from today, a little bit warmer than those temperatures you just saw. Dallas only got up to 30 degrees today. Uh, but out in Phoenix, they got up to 70, as you can see the outline of that cold pool there. Looking at our clouds and radar, uh, not a whole, whole bunch to talk about in the um, middle part of the U.S., but going back down to the south, all this snow, and there's mixing here in the pinks, and then uh, rain down here in the green, so it's causing quite a mess down there um, as it goes through. Looking at our watches and warnings, again, uh, all of this to talk about down in the south. They've got winter weather advisories, winter storm watches, warnings. The green is flooding. Up in the northeast, um, it's mostly wind chills to talk about there. Looking at the future cast, uh, we, th watching all of the precip move through the south um, is basically the story down there. Um, there's a, some clouds moving in across the central U.S. That are and some snow that could affect us uh, potentially in the future that Eric will talk about later. <laughs> Looking at our highs tomorrow, it'll be a little bit warmer uh, than we had today. Dallas will get up to 49, which will be nice for them after the cold day they had today. Um, Minneapolis, uh, 11, 37 over in Billings, and 65 in San Francisco. 
Knoxville, Tennessee is our travel city for the week. Uh, they've got some chances for precip all throughout the week. Uh, pretty cloudy though for them. Uh, 40s for the early part of the week. As we get into the weekend, they'll be cooling off though, and then 50s again later in the week for them. Uh, looking at Iowa, we have set, uh, teens across <coughs> central Iowa, but some warmer weather off to the northwest. Well, that's going to be moving in our areas, that warm front approaches. I'll have more in my Iowa forecast after the break. Let's take a look at your trivia question tonight. Trivia question tonight is, at what temperature is centigrade equal to Fahrenheit? A, negative 60 degrees Celsius, B, negative 40 degrees Celsius, C, negative 20 degrees Celsius, or D, zero. And here's uh, Eric with your Iowa forecast. Thank you, Sam. We look ahead, we got some mild temperatures tomorrow. So we got about 30, so not quite warm, but better than what we've been used to. But with that, we'll bring a chance of snow, and I'll have more on how much we'll have in my Iowa forecast later. And then the cold air returns as we head into the latter part of the week. But right now in Ames, it is 10 degrees. Winds are out of the south at 8, so not too bad. The dew point is negative 2, so it is pretty dry out there right now. Across the statewide, we have 16 in Fort Dodge, a little cooler than that in Des Moines at 15, 19 over in Council Bluffs, and the warmest spot in the state is up in Sioux City, where it is still 24 degrees out, and that was the high of the day. Currently, the winds are out of the south, 8 to 13 degrees, even 18 up in Mason City, so that's going to drop some of our wind chills down there a little bit. But clouds and radar show the clearing we have in our area as we came into the night, and then we have snow up in the northern parts of Minnesota as that low pressure is spinning up up there that's going to bring down that warm front that we're going to experience tomorrow. We got clearing in our area today on Monday but as we head into the night we got clouds starting to come into our area as we go into the morning hours and it'll be hit and miss mostly partly cloudy as we head into Tuesday night and then Wednesday morning in the morning hours around 5 a.m. we should start seeing that snow moving into our area and Wednesday uh, Wednesday morning and Wednesday afternoon, we're going to see most of this snowfall. As you can see here in Ames, we got 3.4 inches. Down in Des Moines, just under 4 inches. So it's going to be dropping quite a bit of snow on places that have already have still some snow from the last storm we got. Lows tonight, we got 14 in Fort Dodge, 13 in Des Moines, 18 in Council Bluffs, and only getting down to 24 in Sioux City. So you can see where that warm front's kind of already moving in. Highs tomorrow rebound well as we reach freezing in Fort Dodge and Mason City, above that in Des Moines, and even lower 40s in the western half of the state. So it's going to be a bit warmer tomorrow. Tonight, 12 degrees, breezy. Winds will be out of the southwest, gusting up to 25. So it will be gusty as we head around tomorrow between classes. Tomorrow, 32, mostly sunny. Winds will still be gusting tomorrow. So all day tomorrow, it'll be a gusty day than what we were used to today. And that's going to help lower the wind chills slightly into like the lower 20s. There's that chance of snow on Wednesday, or, yeah, excuse me, on Wednesday with 60% chance of snow, but then it drops down to 1 degree that night and only rebounds to 12, so the cold air starts to move back into our area and negative 5 Thursday. And then as we head into the weekend, we have another chance of snow hitting our area Saturday and Sunday where we have about 40% chance. Back to you guys. Thanks a lot, Eric. Let's take a look at your uh, trivia question answer tonight. Once again, the question was, at what temperature is centigrade equal to Fahrenheit? A, negative 60 degrees Celsius, B, negative 40, C, negative 20, or D, zero? And the answer is B, negative 40. That is a cold temperature. I'm glad we haven't seen that. Yeah. We, we've got around negative 15, but that, that is cold right yes. there. Yeah. It's very cold. Good thing we won't be seeing that, hopefully. Yeah, well, it's, it's, <laughs> it's, it's going to be nice to see some mild temperature tomorrow, so we have to be sure to enjoy that tomorrow because it's going to be a change than what we got for the rest of the week and even for the next 10 days after that we're still going to be well below average. How much snow are they calling for the weekend? Um, for the weekend right now we have some estimates of around 4 and 5 inches but it's still 6 days out so things yeah. will change. We'll know more as we head into Wednesday's show and we'll let you know then. Good. Alright, thanks a lot everybody. Have a great night. We'll see you Wednesday.